Hi, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I'm going to show you how you can ungroup clip art and then recolor it um, in PowerPoint. So let me actually get right into PowerPoint and show you what I did. Um, so this is the end effects that we're going to want and let's just move those out of the way and pretend like we don't have them. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, um, this is a, a piece of clip art, I'm just going to duplicate it. So if I hold control I can duplicate it, bring it over here, and now I want to ungroup it. So let's go to ungroup, yes, uh, ungroup. Okay, now we have um, all the pieces broken out and we can start the recoloring. Um, the, there's usually a piece on top here, yeah, that's just a blank box, let's get rid of that. And uh, let me, I like having the selection and visibility pane open just so I can see things. Um, so let's go ahead and recolor the hair. So I can just right click and here I can just make his hair brown. So and I have a recent color brown in there and I could make his face maybe more skin toned. That looks pretty good. And I want to, I'm going to hit control there to get the whole tie. I can make his tie blue or orange or whatever I want. And there we go make the, his shirt yellow. Alright, so maybe that's not the prettiest thing, but, um, but that's fine. You'll notice over here um, I had added a gradient in there, and you can do that too. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, if I just right-click Format Shape, and let me bring this into here so you can see it, and instead of a solid fill, if I go to a gradient fill, alright, that doesn't look quite right, but if I here select a color, and let's get that uh, that there, and maybe I don't want it quite white. Let's say I want it going to that. Maybe that's not quite strong enough. Let's get a darker color there. There we go. A little bit more color. And then you can drag these around and you'll see how the, the gradient changes in his face. But I think that looks pretty good. Maybe, maybe like that. And I could do the same thing with the hair. So instead of that being um, just a single color, I could go to gradient and I know that, that that color is not going to work there. Let's go ahead and make that a, a dark brown and then maybe here we go to a, a light brown and you know, let's say I want a gradient to be more light and just you know just the tips are dark. Now that, that's actually the opposite of how it would be. Let's go dark on the top and then the tips are going to be light. There we go. And uh, that's how you do some recoloring. And uh, really quickly, I wanted to show you some other things you can do here. Let me uh, duplicate this one as well. So I can do Control D to duplicate, drag it over. I really like, um, if you haven't used the copy paste format, um, it's a really big time saver. Um, let's go ahead and ungroup this guy. So let's go to group, ungroup, yes, group, ungroup. Let's get that top piece off of there, delete it. Let's say I wanted that same gradient on the face. If I actually do Control Shift C, and then I click on his face, and I do Control Shift V, it carries that same gradient over. So I can do that again if I just do Control Shift V, since I already have it in my. Uh, there we go. And let's say, you know, again, I wanted to make that yellow. I could go Control Shift C, and then make him yellow down there. Um, and that's a really big time saver. Um, now you can also then save these out as individual images. You could save it out as an EMF again. You know, you could go to uh, save as picture. So then the, with the save window here, if you wanted to save it as an EMF, you could do it as a Windows meta file, or you should do a PNG. And the reason you want to do one of those two is it keeps the uh, keeps the transparency. Um, or you can also just, uh, if you do a copy and then you go paste, you can actually paste it as a picture uh, and it'll pull that in as a PNG. Um, the advantage of this now is you don't have all these separate objects, um, so it actually reduces the number of objects on a slide to this is just now a single object. Um, so that's a, a good reason um, to do that. The EMF would be as if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to keep it so you could scale it. Anyways, hope you found that useful. I'm doing a bunch of lessons right now on icons and clip art and uh, grouping, ungrouping, recoloring. Um, so head to elearningart.com or look at my screener or YouTube pages to uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks.